Have you ever wondered what possibly could be inside a black hole? Let's take a moment to dive into the cosmic enigma that has puzzled astronomers and physicists alike for years. Black holes, first theorized by Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity, are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. At the heart of a black hole lies an event horizon, a boundary beyond which we cannot see or gather information. It's like a cosmic point of no return where the known laws of physics cease to apply. The very existence of black holes challenges our understanding of the universe, making them one of its biggest mysteries. These celestial phenomena are not just voids in space, but are entities with enormous gravitational pull, capable of swallowing stars and bending light. So, what could be inside these fascinating yet terrifying cosmic behemoths? Well, there are several theories, each more mind-boggling than the last. One of the most popular theories is that at the heart of every black hole lies a singularity. Now let's break down what this singularity is all about. The singularity theory proposes that the matter inside a black hole compresses into a point that is infinitely small. Yes, you heard it right, infinitely small. Hard to imagine, isn't it? But that's the beauty of astrophysics. It often takes us beyond the realms of our everyday comprehension. So how does this happen? Well, when a massive star collapses under its own gravity, it forms a black hole. The gravity of this black hole is so intense that it starts pulling in everything around it, even light. And when matter gets pulled in, it doesn't just float around. Oh no, it gets squeezed into this tiny, dense point called a singularity. Picture a full-size car getting compacted into a cube the size of a marble. Now imagine that happening to an entire star or even a whole galaxy. Singularity theory aligns quite well with Einstein's theory of general relativity. Einstein's equations predict that any matter inside a black hole gets infinitely compressed at a single point in the center. This point is what we refer to as a singularity, but here's where it gets even more mind-boggling. According to the same equations, the singularity exists in all times at once. It's a timeless, spaceless point where the usual laws of physics no longer apply. And it's not just about compression. The singularity also has an immense gravitational pull, which could potentially bend time and space around it. This leads some to speculate that singularities might be the gateways to other universes or dimensions. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. These are just theories, after all. They're our best attempts to understand the incomprehensible, to make sense of the cosmic enigmas that black holes present. So, in theory, a black hole could be a cosmic vacuum cleaner sucking in everything and compressing it into an unimaginably small space. Another fascinating theory proposes that black holes could be gateways to other universes or distant parts of our own universe. Now, that's a concept that could bend your mind a little, isn't it? But let's delve into this idea known as the wormhole theory. Imagine space as a two-dimensional sheet. If you wanted to get from one side to the other, you could go the long way round. Or if you could somehow bend that sheet, creating a tunnel through it, you could take a shortcut. This tunnel is what we call a wormhole. But here's the kicker. Wormholes aren't just science fiction. They're a genuine prediction of Einstein's theory of general relativity. In essence, they are a solution to his equations that describe the fabric of the universe. However, it's important to note that while the math allows for their existence, we've yet to find any concrete evidence of wormholes in our universe. One end of a wormhole is theorized to be connected to a black hole, while the other end could be connected to a white hole, essentially the reverse of a black hole, spewing out matter rather than sucking it in. This could mean that if you were to somehow survive the journey through a black hole, 
You might be ejected out in a distant part of our universe or even into a different universe altogether. Now, to make things even more interesting, if wormholes do exist, they could potentially allow for faster than light travel. This is because the path through the wormhole could be significantly shorter than the path through normal space. It's a bit like folding a piece of paper and pushing a pencil through it. The pencil takes a shortcut, bypassing the space in between. However, before you get too excited, it's worth noting that wormholes, if they exist, would likely be extremely unstable and might collapse instantly. But who knows? With more research and a better understanding of the universe's mysteries, we might one day find a way to use these cosmic shortcuts. Imagine stepping into a black hole and ending up in a distant galaxy or even an entirely different universe. Now that's a journey worth contemplating, isn't it? Then there's the firewall paradox, a theory that challenges the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics. This theory introduces a new twist to the tale of black holes, and it's as fiery as it's intriguing. Let's delve into the enigma that is the firewall paradox. The theory suggests that a firewall of energy could exist at the event horizon of a black hole. The event horizon is the point of no return, the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. Now, imagine this boundary being a wall of high-energy particles, a literal firewall incinerating anything that dares to get too close. This idea was first proposed by a group of physicists in 2012 and has since sparked much debate in the scientific community. The firewall paradox challenges the principle of no drama, a key component of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which states that crossing the event horizon of a black hole would be uneventful from the perspective of the object falling in. But if there's a firewall, that would be quite an event. The implications of the firewall theory are profound. If true, it would mean that the event horizon is not just a boundary in space-time, but a physical barrier. This would fundamentally change our understanding of black holes and, by extension, of the universe itself. But where does the paradox come in? Well, the existence of a firewall contradicts quantum mechanics, which suggests that information can't be lost in a black hole. If there's a firewall, then the information about the objects that fall into the black hole would be destroyed, leading to a loss of information. This is a direct contradiction to the principles of quantum mechanics, creating a paradox that scientists are still trying to resolve. In this light, black holes aren't just cosmic objects of curiosity. They are the ultimate testing grounds for our understanding of the physical universe. So, instead of a gateway or a singularity, a black hole could be the universe's most deadly firestorm. Lastly, let's delve into one of the most bizarre theories. Black holes as holograms. Yes, that's right. We're not talking about the kind of holograms you might find in your favorite sci-fi movie, but a scientific concept that challenges our understanding of reality. This is the hologram theory. It suggests that the three-dimensional world inside a black hole is not actually three-dimensional at all. Instead, it's encoded on the black hole's two-dimensional event horizon, just like a hologram. Mind-boggling, isn't it? Imagine a puppet show where the puppeteers are hidden behind a screen and all you see are the shadows of the puppets on the screen. The shadows are two-dimensional, but they create the illusion of a three-dimensional world. Similarly, the matter falling into a black hole may just be shadows or projections of information stored on the event horizon. Now you might ask, how could such a complex three-dimensional reality be contained within a two-dimensional surface? Well, physicists propose that quantum entanglement could be the answer. This is a phenomenon where particles become intertwined, mirroring each other's properties, no matter the distance between them. This entanglement 
could create a complex network of information encoding the three-dimensional reality of the black hole on its two-dimensional event horizon. It's a theory that's still being explored and debated. Some physicists suggest that if the hologram theory holds true, it could revolutionize our understanding of space and time. It may even change our perception of the universe itself, suggesting that our three-dimensional reality is just an illusion. But remember, this is just a theory. There's still much we don't know about black holes, and the hologram theory is one of many attempts to unravel their mysteries. In this view, a black hole isn't a portal or a singularity, but a cosmic hologram. So next time you gaze at the night sky, remember, you might just be looking at a cosmic puppet show with black holes as the grand puppeteers. From singularities to wormholes, firewalls and holograms, the theories about what's inside a black hole are as diverse as they are mind-boggling. We embarked on a journey into the heart of these cosmic giants, exploring the enigmatic singularities, the intriguing possibility of wormholes, the perplexing firewall paradox, and the fascinating concept of the holographic universe. Each theory is a testament to human imagination and our ceaseless quest for understanding the universe. Yet these are merely hypotheses, educated guesses made by some of the greatest minds in science. The truth about black holes, what lies within their event horizon, remains one of the greatest mysteries that continue to captivate and challenge scientists. So what do you believe lies within these cosmic giants, the answer? For now remains as elusive as the black holes themselves.